everyone. Um, welcome back to the Math Zone. We've got a very special visitor today. It's uh, Mr. Russell. Hi. And we're going to have a game uh, called Snake Pits. So what you're going to need for this is uh, a number line. We're going to go from 0 to 20. You're going to need five coloured counters each. I've got red and Mr. Russell's got blue. Uh, a dice and uh, a pen and a rubber. So Mr. Russell, if you would mind taking us away with how to play Snake pits. Okay, thank you, Mr. Davis. So the object of the game is to try and get your counters from zero to twenty, and if you get to twenty, that's great. However, to make the game a little bit more difficult, along the way there are certain numbers which are snake pits, and if you land on a snake pit, and unfortunately you lose your counter. Mr. Davis, should we agree on which snake pits we are going to? Yes, have? please. Yeah. So uh, please choose the first. Okay, one. I'm going to go for number eight. Mark that with a square. Mr. Davis, what do you fancy? That means if you land on the eight, you lose your counter. Yes. I'm going to go for an early one. I think I'm going to go for putting a snake pit on number three. Okay, I think I'm going to go a bit higher. I'm going to put mine on number 19. Okay, good choice. I think I'm going to follow suit by going for a higher number. This two digit number here is 16. Okay. We've got four snake pits, one more. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to make it a little bit tricky. I'm going to put one right at the beginning. I'm going to put mine on number one. Very interesting choice. Okay. There we go. So our snake pits are there. We've got one, three, eight, sixteen, and nineteen. They're the numbers to avoid. Okay, well, this is all very exciting, so I'm going to move this away for now. As a the special visitor, Mr. Russell, uh, would you like to go first? Why, thank you very much, Mr. Davis. So I'm going to put my first counter on the zero. And I'm about to roll the dice. Now, obviously, looking at my, my board, there are a couple of numbers I want to avoid. I don't want to roll a 1, no. and I don't want to roll a 3. 2, 4, 5, and 6, they're absolutely fine. Let's see how I get on. And if you roll a 6, you'll have another go? I, if I roll a 6, I get another go. Okay, great. Okay, let's give it a go. Ah! Oh, not off to a good start. I've rolled a 1. So, if I move my counter... There, you can see, unfortunately, it's fallen into one of my snake pits. I think it was one of my own snake pits. I only got myself to blame. So, unfortunately, that counter is now off the board. Okay. What a shame. And what out a shame. of the game. Out okay. of the game. Right, let's see if I have any more luck. A six. All okay. good start. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, the roll of six, get another go. A one, one. Oh. seven. Okay. Yeah, you've got to be careful of that one again, though, Mr. Davis. I have, yeah. My go? Your go. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get past the first hurdle. Oh! <laughs> would you believe it? <laughs> what are the chances? What that? are the chances? A one again. Well, unfortunately, that's another one of my counters lost, and into the snake pit it goes. Mr. Davis, it's over to you. But what I do like about this game is the fact that although you've lost two counts, you've still got three more. Still got three chances. Okay, so let's hope we don't roll a one. Oh! Oh dear, a one. So I've gone into snake pit number eight, so I've lost my first red counter. Oh, never mind, Mr. Davis. Right, well, let's see if it's third time lucky. Here we go. Four. Up One, two, three, four. Good to go. Yeah, and sort of welcome to the game, I think. Well, indeed. <laughs> Four. Ah, oh, come and join us. Two, so, uh, good. Teams. Okay, mm -hmm. so one, two, three, four. I don't want another four, but any other number should be fine. Five. Oh, well, yes. Fine. One, two, three, four, five. Avoid that snake pit. Looking good. Lovely. One. Well, it's a modest throw, but I'll take it. I'll still in the game. To five. He's still in the game. Okay, what have I got here? Oh, back to that one, but it's okay this time. I'm halfway. Four. Nine. nine. One, two. Just avoiding the snake pit. Three, four to nine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't want that six. No, it's a one. That's safe. Six. Good throw, Mr. Davis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you very much. I'm going to throw one more time. Oh, <laughs> Is that a cursing one? Again? <laughs> All right, I've got into a snake pit, so that's me gone again. So I've lost two, but I've got three left, and I start again. Okay, I'm still continuing with my one. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Oh, zoot a laws. That one's gone as well. Okay. So, Mr. Russell, um, have we said what the object of the game is? 
Well, the object of the game, if we ever get there, is to land on 20 or beyond. <laughs> but we could be here for a very long time. That's right. But I've still got three more chances left, Mr. Russell. I've still, still got, got two. two. Um, but you can see it's a really good, sort of fun way of um, having a dice game where you're adding all the time numbers together. So, and it's also quite fun working out which numbers not to roll as yeah. well. It's a really and good how one. you need to avoid that number. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay, I'll be good to go. Thank you very much, Mr. Thanks very much. That was so good fun. Yeah.